Hi, this is Ben for Hey You Guys, and we're at the O2 in London for the world premiere of Street Dance 2 3D. I don't have the first clue about dancing, dancers, or indeed anything to do with dance, um, and I do it very badly. So this should be an interesting evening for uh, you, me, and the talent. I mean, for you, what's more important, getting the acting and getting the role right or getting those moves perfect? Both. I mean, you have to do both. You know, that's, the, that's who the character is. And um, it was, it, I, I already said it, it was a challenge, you know, because it's, it seems to be very different halves of your brain that, that deal with the acting and dancing. So it takes a lot of focus. <laughs> For someone that's starring in a dance film, how hard is that? I mean, physically, that must be pretty demanding, those full days. It is. It is, especially because we had to rehearse for three full months very intensely uh, before to start shooting the movie. And um, I had to learn Latin dance, which I've never done before, salsa and tango dancing. And, um, and yeah, it was really intense. And especially also uh, managing the dance, as, you know, the dance in the movie and managing the acting in the movie was a lot, I mean, but in a good way, of course. And when you say you had to learn a dance? Okay. Oh. 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 He's got the moves! That is, quite honestly, the best outfit I've ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Where do I get one? Well, um, you would have to ask my dad about that, because he just tailored everything for me, yeah. Really? Your dad made that? Yeah. Wow. That is, that is pretty awesome. So, you're in a dance film? Yes. Again. <laughs> pretty good fun. Yeah, it was really great fun to film it and everything. It was just really great. Yeah. That's, I mean, if you're dancing on set for hours and hours and hours a day. How, where does that leave time for a, for a life? You know, what, what do you do for the rest of the day? Well, I, I don't really go out with my friends, go to cinema, no, I just keep my head focused, keep on dancing, practicing, practicing. Um, just, I keep on getting focused and I, I've got an album coming out late this year. So I'm practicing on my music as well and my acting side of um, things as well. So it's really great, I just keep my head focused. You're making me feel like a bit of a failure. I mean, I must be at least twice your age and I've done none of that. No, you're interviewing, so that's great, yeah. I'm, I'm really impressed. So if you, I mean, you're dancing, you've got singing, you've got acting. If you had to choose just one, if there was a moment where someone said, right, pick one, which? I really love my singing and rapping, so being an um, all-round music artist, yeah, definitely that, yeah. Fair enough. Well, good luck with the album, sir. Thank you. Round two, round two, let's go, come on. Leading man in a feature film. About, yeah, about, what is it, three years ago now? When you, did you ever imagine that? Clearly not. Never, never, never. That must be quite exciting. What can I say? Look at these people, man. They've all come out in the numbers, and I'm here asking interviews, so yeah, I'm ecstatic, ecstatic. So what was it like walking on set? I mean, I know you were on set on the previous film, but what was it like the first day walking on set? Big scary. feature. Scary, man. You know, I took on a big responsibility with this role. I've took on a bigger role than 
Yeah, first day was hard, really hard, and we had lots of rehearsals. Everything was much more organised. It was very much, you know, we've got we've got something good here. Let's not ruin it. Let's 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 keep it going. So yeah, much more, much harder. And obviously, filming usually it's about eleven hour days. So is that eleven hours of dancing for you, or? Oh yeah, oh yeah, and then three months of rehearsals before as well. We were, I felt great. I was in shape. I was loving it. Not now, not now. I'm I'm lazy at the moment, but well, yeah. yeah. Clearly less lazy than me. I am curious though, because I know absolutely nothing about dance. Uh, so, you know, as a man who does, what would you say is the, you know, the most interesting thing about it? What attracts, what keeps people interested in it at the moment? I think it's the level of fun people have. It's not about the fitness, it's not about anything. It's the fun you have when you're dancing, the freedom of it. I think that's what it is. Thank you very much, George. So, putting together a film like this that's got dancing and that's got all of the sort of the, the bells and whistles, how difficult is that compared to putting something, uh, you know, your standard stock drama or comedy? It's, I mean, it adds a whole other kind of load of people that I, you know, certainly as a film producer, I didn't know who they were, like dancers and choreographers. It's a whole different world. So I had to kind of, um, you know, we all had to kind of work with that. Um, but it's a great challenge because you're dealing with extraordinary talent. And again, it's just all about making sure that you have the right talent, the right dancers, the right choreographers who can all work together and, and make an extraordinary film. But equally, I mean, presumably as a producer, you're calling on a pool of people you know. Correct. But when you're doing something like this, you've, you've got to go outside of that pool and... Yeah, that's right. I mean, Max and Dania, you know, my directors were basically, um, they work from there, they come from a commercials and promos background, so they kind of know the dance world very well. Um, and I had to do, we all had to do a lot of research and make sure that we got the best of the best. Um, Rich and Tone as choreographers, they are probably the best choreographers uh, for hip hop in the world. Michael Fonts is the greatest salsa choreographer in the world. So it's kind of like to have that, that combination um, and, uh, and Shana Burgess and, and, the, and the guys was just incredible. And I mean, the first film was phenomenally successful, given that it's this tiny little Brit flick, and obviously yeah. it's it did very well. So, what do you think the attraction of dance was? I mean, why you know this is something that when we were certainly when I was a kid was something that you wouldn't admit to doing even. No, that's right. I mean, I think what's happened is that dance kind of has changed, and kind of everyone loves it, and everyone's kind of watching the TV shows, and and kind of you know it's 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 uh, it's good fun to watch, you know. And so, what we want to do for film is make it make it visual for the world and obviously with this you did you feel a pressure to go bigger and bigger and bigger I mean you go glow popping yes I mean we d we definitely did we had to kind of you know to make a sequel I had to make sure that we delivered a better you know more impressive film than the first one um, so it was a big challenge but I hope we delivered okay well thank you very much Just you, uh, you're co-directorless. How, how do you feel? I'm, Make it an alarm. I'm, I'm absolutely fine, actually. I'm still standing here, so I'm good. So what you're saying is the next one, just get rid of him. And, uh... Well, I'm a, I'm a loyal person, but... I'm curious, actually, how the relationship works. I mean, does one of you take charge of acting, one of choreography, or is it more...? Well, we've been, we've been directing together for 20 years, so, yeah, it, ev <laughs> so it always depends on the project. Um, on street dance, you know, how it worked on the last one, I worked with the actors, Max worked with the camera, but it, you know, we do mix it up. We, we don't sort of assign each other strict rules. No, we just let it flow. We just let it flow. Because I mean, we've been working together for so long, it's organic now. So I was just talking to James, and he was saying you're from a promo and commercial yeah. background. Yeah. And actually, I presume this is much closer to promo and commercial than it would be to a normal film, is it? Yeah, I mean, this is a perfect opportunity for us because we wanted to always to move to drama and we were always knew that we wanted to direct feature films. So the music videos was it was a great vehicle to learn the industry, learn, you know, learn the art of directing and making something feel exciting and atmospheric. So now moving into drama, we'll be moving more towards 
more serious drama. Presumably, though, directing drama is almost a holiday from music videos. You know, you go from an 18-hour day to a 12-hour day. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a totally different ball game. It's more fun. It's like, I mean, obviously, there's a lot more pressure when you're making a movie as well. But when, So it's it, it was a good departure, but it's good that we did our training in the music videos to go into four features. I'm working on a dance film. I mean, two dance films now. I, I've been asking this to a lot of people because when I grew up as, you know, back in the... 90s. Um, I, you, know, you, you didn't admit to dancing in school. Frankly, well, I can't anyway. I've got absolutely no rhythm. But you wouldn't, you know, it was the sort of thing that you'd keep under your hat a little bit. And yet, school then. Well, it wasn't like that in my school. I think perhaps if you were a boy, you didn't admit. So, and the question is, well, what do you think has changed? What do you think's brought it in? I think what's brought it in is that there's a lot more opportunity for people for dancing, and and it's now it's become more of a mainstream because you've got a lot of the talent shows going on, and a lot of schools are encouraging kids to take up dance, or there's a lot of classes that people are going towards now, so they're not feeling so in intimidated by it, or they want to they want to dance. <laughs> okay, I, I'd like to answer that one too. Um, I think um, every generation has a way of expressing itself, and this generation, it's street dance, and I think every, you know, a lot of young kids are attracted to it because it's their way of making their own, you know, statement. Thank you. So that was the Street Dance 2 world premiere, and uh, we've spoken to the stars of the show, the director, the producer, and I still know nothing about dancing. I do know about Street Dance 2, however, and uh, that's always a good thing. It actually looks like quite a decent movie. It's probably worth checking it out. Check back later on the site for, uh, well, more Street Dance 2 stuff. And um, now as a special, I, I wouldn't call it a treat exactly, possibly, uh, I don't know. We're going to have me and Russ from Red, uh, Red Carpet News dancing off against each other. Enjoy.